The problem we have in the world is that we generally do not live in the presence of the judges of the earth. We do not live in the presence of the lawmakers and the law enforcement agents who do not live in their presence. The problem we have is that children do not live in the presence of their father every time. Daughters do not live in the presence of their mother every time. I want you to imagine if it were possible that a child be raised in the family. Everywhere that child goes, he goes to the class and the father said, I charge you. Focus on your studies. Focus on your life. Focus on the goal. Focus on what I sent you to do. I've not sent you there for extracurricular activities. I've not sent you there for entertainment. This is what I want to do. Imagine if it were possible that that father will spend full time going with the child everywhere. In a taxi, the father is there with him. In the bus, the father is there with him. In the class, the father is there with him. When temptations come, the father is there with him. Anything that happens, the father is always there and the father is always Always looking at him face to face, eyeball to eyeball. Remember whose child you are. Remember I'm watching you. Remember I'm seeing everything you're doing. And remember my favor and my mercy is going to continue on the basis of your faithfulness to what you're doing here. And if any temptation comes, my father is there. He's saying, I'm here. I'm watching. I'm going to see your response. I'm going to see your action. That child will do something right every time. Look at what we're saying. That our own Heavenly Father is there every time. He listens to every conversation. He looks at every action. He looks at our thoughts. He looks at our motive. He sees everything. And we live in the presence of the final judge every time. Our problem is we're not conscious of that. Our problem is we don't understand. Our problem is we do not know that every little thing we say, every idle word we say, every ignorant thing we get involved in, every temptation we fall into, the judge is looking at us every time. And so I want to challenge ourselves and remind ourselves living righteously in the presence of the judge.